All right, guys, it looks like I'm live now. <laughs> I'm counting down on my my videos. Uh, all right, so uh, we're going to be playing Burgle Brothers here today, and this is the Steam app. So welcome to the Gaming Party channel. Welcome to our newest series called No Table Required, and we're streaming board game apps to you live each week now. Uh, Burgle Brothers is an awesome cooperative game. I'm going to be playing it by myself, but I'm playing four characters, this is a great game. I love this. I played it on the tabletop version many, many times, and now I'm looking forward to playing it here so you guys can see this. Uh, this is tough. It's, it's some luck in the game, so I plan on losing, but we're going to see what happens. And um, also, uh, Casino Capers, or the Casino uh, the Boreal, the, the new version is coming out, so I'm kind of playing this as a homage to Tim Fowers and his new version coming out. Cannot wait to see that. And I've already backed it on Kickstarter, so looking forward to playing that. I love Tim Fowers games, so Burgle Brothers, let's get started, folks. Let's jump right into it here. So uh, this is on Steam. I think it's on the Android app also. But let's go ahead and hit start here, and we're going to jump right in. I'll go ahead and teach you the game a little bit as we're playing, give you some strategy tips, and talk about why I'm choosing some of the options I'm choosing. So not only will you learn how to play the game, you also get some strategy tips while watching this. All right, so first thing I have to do is pick a team. I want to pick four people on my team. I'm going to leave it on normal mode, which means I'm probably going to lose because easy is much easier. So uh, I like to start off with uh, a couple people here. So let's go with the um, the hacker. I like the hacker because he can um, he does not trigger alarms. So he can just start running across the bank right away trying to... Uh, find him, find things, and open up doorways for us. So I like the hacker; he can take off right away. Uh, the spotter is good because he can tell us where the uh, guard is going next. I like him. The acrobat can actually move through the guard, so if he gets pinned into a location, or if you've got a tight spot you got to get into, he can move right past the guard, which is awesome. And then the hawk, uh, once per turn, is a free action. You may peek at an adjacent tile through a wall. Love that. That's awesome too. It's funny because you see all these locks on the bottom here. I have not unlocked all those. I've actually unlocked them on the Android app, but I haven't unlocked them on the Steam app. So, uh, unfortunately, that doesn't carry over. All right, that's it. We're just going to do the regular heist. That's just the, the basic one here. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to change any settings here. We're all going to have three stealth. If you're playing this for the first time and you're, you want to make it a little easier, I would say run this up to like six stealth just so you have a better chance of making it further. Uh, but let's go ahead and stick with that, and let's get started. Start the game. Here we go. All right, there it is. Tap to continue. The goal is to crack all the safes and escape through the roof. The helicopter pads on top, and it kind of randomizes your three floors for you. Now we have three floors we're going to be going through. There's the guard. The number two is on him because he's going to move two spaces per turn. And let's choose a starting location, not too close to the guard. So the guards will move two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we start over here, we'd be far enough away that he's not going to catch us right off the bat. But we'd also kind of be trapped in this corner here. And we have four players. So before the fourth player goes, he's going to make eight moves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we could start in this corner here and that'd be safe. But then we really got to take a long ways to get out of here. It's one, two, three, four. It's, it's a long track. I don't want to stick us back in that corner there. So... Uh, there's no guaranteed safe spot for the fourth player in this game. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Um, that, that corner just seems really safe. You know what? Hmm. If he goes 1-2, he's going to hit us right away right here. That's going to stay 1-2. Also, I like to try to be an odd number away. So, if he goes 1-2... And then he goes one, two, and he's back to that spot. Then he's not on this spot for the next move, which is good. And then whoever's here can, you know, kind of move around and get away from that. So let's see, one, two, one, two. So this would be an odd spot right here. Somebody can just move back to get away from him. This one is one, two, three, four. That's four spaces away. So this is the fifth space. This is probably my best bet right here because so one guy can go up in here and check around. Other people can start going up and spreading around this way. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go right there on that spot. That seems like my best spot. He's one, two, three, four, five spaces away from the guard. So that's an odd number. That's good. Uh, there we go. We're going to go right there. That's going to be my starting point. All right, starting off with the hacker. And we got this guy here. He is going 
down this way. So one, two at this turn, and two more next turn, three, four. So he's going to be here on the third turn. All right. This is, oh, if MT3 actions enter. So if my uh, my hacker here heads over this way, he's going to have to, when he comes back, he's going to have to use three actions to get back on this deadbolt, which really stinks. I don't want him to get trapped over here. He's my he's my runner that kind of opens everything up. So because he doesn't set off alarms, so I'm going to have him just head straight out into the floor here. Let's go ahead and just move. You can peek uh, if you're not sure what that tile is and you're, you're afraid you're going to set off an alarm. You can peek, but with the hacker, I'm just going to go. So we're just going to move. All right. If action ends here, trigger alarm. Okay. So this is actually one that I believe the hacker does trigger. Uh, fingerprint, laser, motion, he does not. So he would actually trigger this storm alarm if he stays there. I'm not going to stay there. I'm going to move on. Move to the next one here. I have two actions left. I could peek at this tile to the right and then move to the left. Um, no, I think I'm just going to move. I'm going to go to the left here. I'm going to move. Ah, this is the bathroom. The laboratory. Uh, this is where you're going to get uh, some stealth. So if you're on that spot right there, you're going to get three stealth tokens for whoever's there, but only if you're on that spot. So let's say you're on there and you get you get hit by the guard, you can spend one of those three tokens on that spot, but only if you're on that spot. So, you know, let's leave him right there since he has those three tokens. Let's go ahead and peek right here. I want to peek over here. There's no stairs. So I can move up to the next floor now with my hacker on the next round or any one of the other guys that can get up there. Uh, the detector says if you're holding loot, I don't have any loot right now, so that's good. So uh, one of the strategies in the game is to try to get your guys on different levels of the game so that they're not setting off the same guard over and over again. So I'm going to end my actions here. Guard's going to move. And I get the spotter. Um, I don't, you know, his power is not really that good right now because... This guy, I know he's going to go one, two, one, two. Well, I guess, you know, after that, he's going to have four more moves before he gets back around him. So it is, I'm going to use his power. So I'm going to click on the spotter, go peek at the guard deck. All right, so the guard's going to go one, two, one, two, then go there, and then I'm not going to know where he's going next. So that didn't really do him much good. If it had been, like, over here in this corner, then I would have told me where he's going a further distance. So... Should I get the spotter and try to get him up? One, two, three. He can get over here on the laboratory with the hacker. Or you peek over here. Let's get him up there with the hacker. Let's move him up. Move him up. And let's put him over here with the hacker. They're both, go they're both going to the bathroom together now. I'm going to end it there. All right. Now he's going there next. Yep. Acrobat. Okay, move. So if he moves onto the tile with the guard, it doesn't count as a move, which is great. So he gets that extra movement as he moves through a guard, which is pretty cool. So let's see, one, two, I can peek here for three, or he can go in this area here. Him going over in this area off to the side doesn't really help a whole lot because he is, um, he moves through the guard, that's his power, and putting him over here away from the guard kind of deadens his power. But if the guard does head down this way, He's the best person to get through the guard, so let's head this way. Now, he does set off alarms, so I'm going to peek with this guy. Okay, secret. Oh, that's nice. There's a secret door. So if I get over in this corner here, and let's say the guard's only one of these top two spots here, I can just go right through that wall back to the secret door. That's good. Let's move over there. Let's peek up here. Stop here or trigger alarm. You know, that's not a bad idea. I'll go up there and I'll stop there. Because if the guard ends here, this guard's going to go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's, he's quite a ways away, so let's go ahead and move him up here. Uh, and we'll stop there, which means we're not going to trigger the alarm. All right, here we go. He's moving. The hawk. I want to peek over here and see what's over here. I want to peek over here also. All right, I'm going to let the acrobat go to the left. So with her, I'm going to use her power, peek through a wall. What is down in this corner here? Because that's, really, that's a hard corner to get into. Lasers. Don't need to get on that. That's fine. She still has four actions left. One, two, three. She could peek here for four. And she'll be on the laboratory with these guys. Let's do that. So let's go one. It's not a good idea to have all your guys on one spot because the guard gets there, everybody's taking a hit. Uh, so it's risky to have all your guys on one spot. But also, you have less spots that their guard can actually move on to and hit anybody. So there's a give and take there. So let's move. Or move again. And then I want to have her peek right here. A fingerprint alarm. So the hacker can move through that. Nobody else can. They're going to set that off. 
because I don't have any hang, I don't have, I haven't hacked a finger pink computer yet. Okay, that's good. He's moving down. All right, we're doing we're doing well. We're doing well. This guy can move up, so let's go up to the fingerprint alarm. He's gonna peek over here. Oh, there's a motion uh, hack. Ooh, I don't have any. We do have a motion hack right here. It would be helpful, but I don't want him to do it because he can move through the alarms. I want him to go ahead and just move. I want to use his actions to move and uncover doors here. Move, move. We found the safe. All right. And we have one other, we have the whole row up, uncovered. We don't have the column uncovered. I've got to get that uncovered to know what the numbers are I need for the safe. Right now I know I need a three, a two, a one, and another one, but I need these two numbers here. All right. And in my turn, he's going to move. And the spotter, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move him upstairs. So this guy is not going to move this turn. This will give my acrobat a little more time down there. So let's move the spotter over here. He's going to go, oof, should it peek upstairs? Yeah, let's go to peek. We're going to peek up the stairs. It's a deadbolt. Three actions to enter. I don't have three actions now because I just peeked, which really stinks. <sighs> yeah, now I got points to enter that. That stinks. But it did show me the guard's movement, though, which is cool. That's kind of a... I think that's a, kind of a bug. Shouldn't really do that. Should show me the guards moving because I couldn't really move up there. I just, I just peeked up there, but when I hit go up, it actually uh, showed me the guards moving now. Good to know. Good to know. We'll hack there for you. Uh, so I'm gonna go back down to the first floor. He can't move up there. So what can he do? <sighs> Not really anything. Okay. So he doesn't really have much he can do. He only has two actions left. I don't want him really to move out and get, you know, get triggered an alarm like the fingerprint alarm or something. So. I tell you what I probably need to do here then is I probably need to get him just to stay where he's at. But if you don't move, if I end my action, you'll see it says draw an event card. And event cards can be good or they can be bad. And if they're bad, you usually there's something like the guard gets an extra movement or something like that. I don't want that. So to use up or burn up my actions, I'm going to move him to the laboratory and then move him back to the stairs. Now he's where I want him. I've used up all my actions. That seems kind of cheesy to do that, but that's part of the game. So, actions are done. I don't have to draw an event card. All right. Oh, that's perfect. So, the guard is actually going to come back out over here. He's going to leave the acrobat alone. That's good. Let's move. Uh, let's peek. Laser hack. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's go over there and move on to that. And let's peek below here so it's down there. Uh, motion alarm. All right. So, let's hack this laser here. Let's add a virus to that. Yeah, boom. And he's out of actions. That laser alarm is going to help us later on. Uh, and there should be probably be lasers on other floors. And let's see what happens. The guard moves. The hawk. Uh, her power is to peek through doors or through walls. She doesn't really need to go peek over here because the hacker is going to hit those and grab those for us. Let's do the math here. All right, so right now we're on the hawk. The next person to go is... The, the hacker. So he's going to go one, two. Ooh, he's going to be stuck. The hacker's not going to get by him. Oh, she needs to go up. So she's going to move one and go up in the deadbolt. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. She's going to move. She's going to go up. Boom. And now end actions. And he's going down this way. That's great. It's away from us. And now the hacker can move. If I had not done that, then the guard would have been right here on this spot and the hacker would have been trapped. So now I can go one. Peek here for two, move back up for three, and then maybe add it. And then, well, I can't add it because it costs two actions to add a die. But that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and move here. And we're going to peek down here. Uh, if <laughs> These are funny. The walkway. If revealed via move, you fall. So you actually trip and fall through the walkway to the before or below. But we're on the first floor, so that doesn't happen. And plus, I peeked. I didn't walk onto it. This is a camera, though, so i got to be careful. i got to make sure I don't stay on that because the guard could be on a camera somewhere else. In fact, if the guard is on a camera somewhere else on another floor, it still hits me. So he's going to move back to the safe. And I'm going to end my action there because I want to be able to have many actions left to be able to crack that safe. And so let's end it right there. I'm going to move his two. Spotter can move up now. I know where that guard's going. One, two, three. Where is he going next? Let's use the spotter to peek at the guard deck. He's going there. That's good. So he's going to go one, two, three, and then he's going to come back up. One, two, three. 
So at the end of this turn, he'll be here. And at the end of next turn, he'll be back on that spot there. Then he'll go one, two, and then three. So I know where he's going to be for the next three turns. That's good. I'll put that on the top of the deck. And then let's start peeking around. Uh, to enter, roll a die. Open on a six. Each die roll, you add another die. This, this is one of the luck parts of the game. All right, let's roll this here. You're going to give me a six. Nope, that's a two. Man, that stinks. He's out of actions. Moving on. That really stinks. They need to do much there. All right. If anybody's listening or watching this right now, how's the audio sound? How many listeners do we have? We got one. If you guys uh, like if the audio sounds good, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. All right. All right, back to the acrobat here. He does not need to do... He can put some more hacks on this. And he, oh, you know, he has to stop on the motion anyway. He's not even going to set it off. So let's just use three actions, but three hacks on the laser. Move on to the motion and stop there. That's probably the best bet. So one, two, three. And then we'll go to the motion. He's going to stop there so it doesn't trigger the alarm. And the guard's going to move. He's coming back over here. That's not good. The hawk is going to peek through this wall here. Use her power. Let's peek right through here. Don't need to go there. And now we're going to try to roll and get on this spot here. Let's roll. Give me a six. Nope. That's a five. Roll again. When you roll a second time, you get to roll an additional die for each extra roll. There's my six. Just barely. I like the physical roll of the dice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then she's going to peek here next to her. Uh, it's, a car, it's a camera. Uh, that, that actually could come into play because if we try to go hide out over there, the camera is not good because there's a guard on the camera right here. So it's a good thing I did not move on to that camera spot. And she can either peek here or she can move back onto the deadbolt. A couple reasons I'd move back to the deadbolt. One, get farther away from the guard just in case his next card is right here. Uh, but two... The uh, the deadbolt, if it's empty, it's three actions to enter. And so when the hacker or the acrobat tries to come up, I need to have someone on this spot. If not, they're going to have to spend three actions to come up. So I'm going to move her back to this. Also, on the next turn, I can use her uh, peek ability to peek at this square right below her here. All right, let's see what happens now. All right, let's see here. Oh, he's gonna add die. So it takes two actions to add a die. I'm gonna add a die, and we're gonna take a couple rolls here. These are the ones, twos, threes, and a five. That is a five, nice. Roll that again, and four, I don't need that. That is not a good roll. So next turn, I'll add, two, uh, add another die, so I have two dice, and I'll roll those and try to crack that save. I've got one number done now. All right, so the two. Come back up. He's going to leave the acrobat alone for right now. That's good. Spotter. Hmm. Where's he going next? Let's see. Peek the deck. All right. He's going back to that corner there. Getting pretty lucky with the guard movements here. This is nice. They're going up to these little corners here. So that's, that's pretty nice. So, um, But it's all about you on the top of the deck. So he's going to go. He's got three actions. One. He can peek for two. And he can move back to the deadbolt for three. Hmm. That's probably my best bet because I can't really move in there. Here, one, two, three. I'm going to get hit if I move there. So we're going to move one, peek here, and then we're going to move backwards here. Slow going on this level right now because the guard's kind of in the way there, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, so move back out for three. Next turn, he's going to go one, two, so I know exactly where he's going to be next turn. Four actions. One, two, three. That does not count as a move because I'm on the guard. So one, two, three, three. Four, I'd be on the laboratory, and I get hit by the guard. But I'll be on the laboratory, and I can use one of those masks that are on there, and that's the only place you can use them. So that's actually not a bad idea. So I'm going to just use up those masks that are on the laboratory to get him out of here faster. If not, he's going to have to go over here to the right on the camera, try to go around this way, and he can get hit anyway because the guard can go right back to him next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to move move and oh that was a dead ball i forgot about that so i used up all three of his actions right on the dead ball so he's stuck anyway okay well he's stuck now all right guards moving great he's going right on the stairs wonderful that's just perfect all right let's get her to peek through the wall here i love her ability motion sensor nothing there 
She is stuck. Can't really do much of anything here. If she moves here, she can't go on the guard, she's gonna get hit. Even if, so she had four actions left. Can't really go back down here because the guard's right there. That's not gonna do much good, so. Uh, I just gotta burn up her actions. I hate this, but one, two, three. I can leave her right on the keypad. And next turn she can peek here. But he's gonna go one, two, three. His next move could be in here. All right, I'm gonna burn up her actions. I'm gonna go move, move. Let's do it again, move. Move her back so the deadbolt's covered. So nobody has to spend three actions to move on to it. Kind of cheesy. I hate wasting turns like that, but it's sometimes that's what you gotta do in this game when you're sneaking around. All right, add a die to the safe. Here we go. Two dice on the safe now. And we're gonna roll. So this is one of those things like debating with myself. Should I add another die and spend all my actions and wait next turn and then you know have a whole bunch of die for those rolls, or should I go ahead and make the rolls now? And it's just too tempting. You got you gotta make the rolls. You gotta make the rolls. So here we go. Roll two dice. I got a two and a three. Boom! Now all I need is a one. I get one more roll. If either one of these dice is a one, we'd crack the safe on the first level, which is great. But also a bad thing, because now you have this loot that you have to carry around that gives you some sort of negative thing, which sucks. So, uh, But we got to hack it, so let's do it. No one. Doses, all right. And in that, he's going to move once, twice, and he's going to move up there. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so I know he's going there. I don't really need to... I guess I could use the spotters. Mm. One, two... Peek up here, peek up there. Yeah, I yeah. Oh no, actions in here are trigger long. So one, two, peek. And for my third, if I want to move up there, I could. Ooh. Hmm. Man, I don't know. Sorry, I, you know, I want to check my audio real quick just to make sure we everything sounds good and no issues going on with the audio. So give me just one second here. I want to listen in on audio, see how it sounds. I was worried about that. I don't know. Sorry, I, you know, I want to check my audio I, real quick. I, just knew, sure it, I knew it was echoing. God damn it. Why is it doing that? So, apologize guys for the echo. I'm going to turn that off here. But there is the webcam. It's supposed to be using the Yeti microphone, but yet for some reason it's picking up the audio itself. It's doing it twice. Which really stinks. I hate that. Sorry about that, guys. Let me fix that real quick. I apologize for the delay here, but I've got to fix this audio. I'm just going to do this way to just disable the microphone in this thing permanently, because I hate it. I just want to just turn off the... Yep. i got to go to my recording settings here. So that fixes it now. Check, check. Nope, still echoing. Ah, it's driving me crazy. I apologize, guys. I don't know why it's doing this. All right, so this thing, the audio is uh, doing that double thing that it keeps doing to me, which is driving me crazy. I hate that it's doing that. Thanks. Oh, God damn. Check, check.
And now she's using the microphone on there instead of the Yeti. Check, check. check. And now she's in both. both. There we go. Does that work? All right, let's see if that works. I have it turned all the way down now. There we go. I'll check it out, see if it actually works now. Apologize, guys. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, let's see if that works. I have it turned all the way down now. There we go. Uh, check it out, see if it actually works now. Apologize, guys. Yep, it does work. All right, there you go. Well, there's the audio check, so um, let's move on. Let's keep playing. Sorry about the delay there. That's, uh, that's what happens when you live stream stuff. Uh, but I learned my lesson. I know how to turn it down now. Next time, that won't happen. All right, so back to the, the spotter. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use this power. Let's see where the guard's going. Guard's going over here next. So it's going to one, two, three, and then one, two, three here. Whenever he can get to a spot m multiple ways, he's always going to go clockwise. So he's going to go one, two up to that. And then we'll see where he goes next. But yeah, let's leave that down there. So he's down. He's stuck down here, which is good. And so let's just move over here. Enter keypad. Okay, that's uh, it's thermo. If action ends here, I can't end my action here. So, <laughs> so here's the deal. I can take a chance. If I move here, and then I try to move to this spot here, and it ends up being like a dead bolt or something I can't move on to, or another alarm, then I'm, I'm hosed. So I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to move them back, and I'm going to end my action so I don't have to draw on a vent card. Not exciting, but this is how you don't get caught. All right, so let's, now he can try to move, uh, he can move through the guard, yes, one, two, three, four, yes, he can move through the guards, so let's move it. Boom, move. 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 That does not count as an action. And now he can go up. Boom. He's on the next floor also. That means this guard is going to move three times now instead of once, which is may not be a good thing. Because I got three of these guys on here. But hopefully, my hawk here can find something. Let's peek through the wall here. So it's over here. A laboratory. First player to enter here draws a tool. And she has three actions left. So she's going to move on to the thermo here. She can't enter action there, but we want to peek here. See what's going on. That's a laser. That would have been two. See, that would have been two actions to enter, which means that if I moved the spotter there, he'd been stuck. All right, so she's gonna move back to the keypad now, because I don't want to. I don't know what's under this one. I don't want to take a chance. And now he's moving back towards us, which stinks. All right, the hacker is going to add a die. Now I've got three dice. All I need is a one. I got two rolls. Not a one. Come on, give me one. Give me one. Ah, yes. I won. Now I get a stethoscope. I can discard after a cracking attempt to change the result of any one die to anything you wish. That's awesome. Uh, he's got that. I can hand it to someone, off, to someone else. And then a key card. The holder must be present to roll dice for cracking any safe. Oh, I hate this one. Oh my god, I hate this one. This is the worst loot. So basically only one person can crack safes now. That's it. No one else. And if you want someone else to crack a safe, you've got to hand the key card to them or be on that spot with them. I hate that one. <sighs> All right. Jeez, that's a tough one. All right. Moving on. He's done with his actions. Guard's going to move. Whew, I was so afraid that he was going to come around this way, but he went down, which is good. Spotter. Um, well, we know where the guard's going now. One, two. Jeez, we are kind of stuck here. He goes one, two... Peek here for three. He can move back for four. You know what maybe better? Is to move him down back to this floor here so that guard doesn't move this round. And then the acrobat. No, actually, no, I want to leave him up here because I want to, the guard can get here and that way the acrobat can move right through the guard. Yeah, let's do that. So let's take the. Let's move over here to the deadbolt. Let's move over here to the thermo. Let's peek over here. He's going to move back because I don't want him on the camera. So we're going to go backwards here. And I'll stop there. 
car is going to end right in front of us there. Now the acrobat can move through him. So that's one move, two. That does not count as an action. So two actions left. Okay. So I can peek behind me here and then try to move down. But if I get stuck here on the guard spot, I'm going to take a hit. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's take a chance. I'm going to peek behind me. Another flipping camera, so I can't move on to that spot because I'll get seen by the guard. So I can't peek at the one below me because that'll be my last action. So I've got to move down there. If holding the loot, trigger alarm, I'm not holding the loot, so we got lucky there. There's been a fingerprint alarm, we've been hosed. Ah, oh, he's going right through us. Ugh. All right, so the guard just ended up right on top of both of my spotter and my hawk here. I mean, there's a chance that was going to happen, you know. So, so. Okay. This stinks. He's going to hit the spotter again. And there's not much I can do about it. Yeah, he's going to hit the spotter again because unless one, two, three... Four. No, I, I can't. Even if this is the stairs, I can't get her out of here. Uh, all right. Well, she's gonna move. She needs to get out of this path right here too, so she can go up here to where the lasers are at. She can't go on either one of those cameras because she's gonna cross over that camera. Her only place to really hide out is this laser up here or back here on this detector. Wow, this stinks. We're in a bad situation here. I could go back through him and go downstairs. But then she's going to take a hit. And then wait till the spotter's turn that he can go up here and hide out. I mean, either either he takes a hit or she does. Actually, you know, moving back down may not be a bad idea because that gives my acrobat more time to get stuff done over here. With the guard not moving. So let's do it. Let's take a hit. She's going to move on to the guard, and she's going to go downstairs. And then I'll move on to the laboratory, so she has the extra stealth there. And I'm going to stop her there. This guard is up to three movement now because we opened that safe. All right. We have cracked the safe so the hacker can get out of here. So move, move, move. And he can trade. He can give the hawk the stethoscope or the key card. I think he's going to keep it because he's probably going to get to the safe because he can move so quickly and easily. But I think I might want to leave him down here. Move him over here to the stairs. But, oh, actually, he has to stay down here. I don't have enough actions to get there. So, yeah, he's definitely going to stay down here. All right, moving on. Guard moves. Okay, coming back at us. Got to get out of here. Spotter's got to move. He's going to go one. And use two actions to get onto the lasers. That'll get him closer to getting uh, over here to where the detector's at and stuff. So let's, all right, let's do that. So we're going to move here. Go on to the lasers. And he's just going to... Uh, we're going to lose one action to stay there. Or we can trigger an alarm. Or we can hack... Oh, we forgot we have the hacks. That's right. Down below on this floor, we hacked the laser four times. So we can actually save an action if we want to. Don't care about that because he's just kind of stuck there anyway. So we're just going to say lose one action. And that prevents us from drawing an event card also. And now he's good. Acrobat. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, I should have used this. Oh, what was I thinking? The spotter's ability is to see where the guard's going. I should have used that last action to check the guards who are is going. Oh, forgot about that. All right. Um, let's. Oh, so I think I'm just gonna peek below me. Okay, that's fine. Let's peek over here. It's a fingerprint alarm, so I move on that. It's setting it off. So the stairs and the safe are over here in this corner, which is a pain in the beep. So I've only got two actions left. One, two. He's gonna hit me if he comes to there because these two spots have not been opened up yet. That one isn't. That one. So I got a 50-50 chance. Oh, no, no, because there's two spots here he hasn't hit. So I got a two and six chance of him hitting me over here. Three, three, four, five, six, yeah. Let's move it. Let's do it. I want to take a chance. Set off an alarm. That's fine. And then we're moving to the next one here. I get to get a tool, though. Discard to peek at any one tile on any floor. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, should I peek at any tile? Should I peek at one of these tiles down here now? 
a peek at this one, and I know it's find out it's uh, not the safe, and I know it's just one of these two. It's probably a good idea to do that. Now I was just gonna say that saved me one action. Now let's forget that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna wait and save that until I get to like some spot where it's really hard to get to. All right, moving on. Yes, he went back the other direction. I got lucky there. Oh, now he's coming back this way. <laughs> uh, all right, if she moves up here, the acrobat's getting hit. So I really need to keep them down on this floor and just waste time down here. But if he goes one, two, three, next round, he he's not going to hit her, but he could come across here and hit them. But the laboratory is a safe spot. So, yep, let's do this. Let's just go, uh, let's just move. One, two, three, four. Just burning actions. But I'm doing that so that my acrobat doesn't get hit. The hacker. Again, same thing. If he moves up, the acrobat's getting hit. I've got to waste time until I get past the acrobat's turn. If not, the acrobat is definitely taking a hit over here. Now, this guy can set off an alarm. He can set off a laser alarm here by moving into it. And that would draw him away from the acrobat. Then he'd have to try to get out of the way. And he's already taken a hit. So that's risky. Oof. Yeah, it's in a tough spot here, so. <sighs> so just move the hacker up here and just go. Just one, two, three, four. Heating up on a camera, which is not a big deal because there's no camera under here. Well, could be. Jeez. I'm in a tough spot. I need, a, I need dynamite to be able to blow a hole in this wall right here, is what I need. That's what I really need. I need to blow a hole right here in this wall so I can get through there because this is the spot I need to get to. And going around that's a pain. Ugh. I don't, I don't want the acrobat to get hit because if the guard comes here and hits the acrobat, and then the next card is like this one up in this corner here, he's going to go back through the acrobat again. So the acrobat's going to get, get hit twice. Can't afford that. Just got to move. 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 I'll stay here on the laboratory to um, be safe with these little masks on it. In my action. In turn. What's he going to draw? Oh, he's going back away from us. That's good. Got lucky with this guy. Spotter. Move away for one action. Move back onto it as a second action. Set it off. Move back off of it as a third action. Then move over here as four onto the keypad. And just hope that he doesn't draw the keypad or this one here. Because he's going to go up here. No, that, that's no, not a good idea. Not a good idea. One, two. Oh, the deadbolt is where the stairs are at, so I can't even get up there. He's going to go one, two. He's not going to have enough actions to get on the deadbolt, so I can't move downstairs. Acrobat's getting hit anyway. Oh, so I might as well go ahead and take a chance. So I'm going to move down, move back up, trigger the alarm. All right, I know where he's coming out. I have two actions left. I'm going to move here. I'm going to move here. Chances are I'm going to get hit, but... This is the only way I can be for sure that he's not going to hit the acrobat. Yes! It saved it. No hits. Um, Alright, so let's move. Let's, uh, let's peek down here. That's a safe. Moving on to that. And then let's peek to the left here. And peek to the right. Or should we use our blueprints? Yeah. <laughs> this kind of stinks. Um, I can't move on the foyer. So I can't Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to take him two moves to get down here. But, oh, this is the stairs. This is the stairs here. Yeah, I'm moving over here. Yeah, that was the last one, so I know it's the stairs. I'm safe, so we're good. All right. Let's see where he goes. Going back to the hawk. Hawk is going to move. I think it's safe to move upstairs now. Yep, she can go one, two, three, four, or actually one, one, and then all three actions to get onto that spot. Yeah, she's going to do that. We need to get her up there so she can uh, let the, the hacker move past it. So she's going to go up. That's all four removes because that deadbolt's three. It stinks that the deadbolt's around the stairs. That's really stinks. But, all right, hacker, you can go now. Or should he stay downstairs? He's going to go one. And then his last place is up here, I believe. So it's one, one, two, three, four. I don't know. Let's see where he goes. All right. Let's move over here. And I hate having all four of them on one floor together like that. That's really bad. This guy just gets four movements before I get off of here. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the hacker down on the next floor down here until I get a clear spot. 
move past him because right now it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight moves to get to the stairs. Jeez, that's gonna stink. Oh. Yeah, he is going to move here, move back over here, and we're just gonna say put him back in the laboratory so he's got. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's undo that. Let's put him back here. The only time he can really move up is if that is if the hawk stays there. If not, it's gonna cost him three actions to move up. So let's leave him where he's at. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we're good. All right, so stay right there. Where's this guy going? Getting lucky with his movements here. And spotter, one, two, three, four. He's going to trigger an alarm on the fingerprint. One, two, three, four. He can go here and hide out. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. He's going to hide out right here. And hopefully the guard walks past him and then he can get to the stairs without getting hit. And then now the guard is right in the way. And that, the safe's got an X on it because I can't hack the safe. It's got to be the next guy. So we're going to peek up. Hack fingerprint alarm. Oh, that's nice. Let's go up there. And let's hack that bad boy. Heck yeah, we'll add viruses to him. Boom. That is really good because there's a fingerprint alarm right in the way. Right here. Having hacks on that is perfect. All right, good. In turn there. He's got four movements on this floor. She can go one, two, three, four. She cannot get to the walkway here. She would have to go over here and hide out in the lasers. One, two, move into the lasers. We still have a hack on the lasers. We still have four hacks on lasers. She, she can get in there. Let's do that. That's going to get her one, two, three, four ways, four spaces away from the walkway, which is, I hope, a safe space for them. So that means the hacker is going to take three actions to move up. He's kind of going to be stuck there. It's going to have to be the way it is because I got to get, start getting them over to this stairway here. Mm -hmm. Oh, she should stay there. So the hacker can go one, two, three. He can get to the laser. Yeah, he, it's more important for him to get to the safe because he's the only one that can hack it. So let's leave her right there. So she's going to burn some actions up here. So move. Move back. That's three actions for moving back onto it because there's nobody on it. Now she's done. And now the hacker is going to move up. Move. Move. Move on here. He does not set up lasers. He, we don't have to use the hack for him. And we're good. One, two, cross your fingers. Okay, this is the last one. All right, so he's going to move up here to that spot. We'll see what happens. All right. Um, you can go down on these walkways, which is good. It's like kind of a last resort. I don't want to jump down, but so let's move up here. Move on to the fingerprint alarm. We have a hack now. Heck yeah. Move over here. Move on to the stair, the safe. And he's out of actions. I didn't use his spotting ability, but I'm doing that because I want to get him on the stairs and get him out of the way of harm's way because he's already taken one hit. Uh, cross your fingers. He's speeding up. Since we got to the bottom of the deck, he speeds up. Let's see how far he moves this time. He's going to the acrobat. Let's see here. I can peek here. Move here. One, two, three. I can move through the guard. I can't stay here because he's going to hit me. So let's peek here. Let's peek here. Let's peek here. Ooh, you can peek up or down from above or below and seen from below. So if the guard down here moves onto the walkway, then he'll see me in this corner. So let's but let's my only safe spot right now. So let's move over here. And in actions. And there comes the hawk. She can't move through him. She's gonna get hit if she does. One, two, three, four. She's not that doesn't doesn't do any good at all. Or, Best move is probably to go back downstairs and come back up. Or actually just go back downstairs, period. Stay there. Yeah. That's probably our best action is to go downstairs. So this guy activates instead of the guard on this floor. Because this guy's going to go one, two, three, and then come right back out here and block off the hacker from getting by him. So yeah, screw that. I'm going to go downstairs with her. Move her on the laboratory. And then back off. And then back on the laboratory. So he is one, two, three. If he hits her, it's he, he, he could use the mask instead of her, her, uh, her stealth. Let's see where he goes. He's going to the top. He's going to go right through her. Yep. All right, hacker. Get past this stuff here. One, two, three. All right, he's holding loose. So he set off an alarm there. 
and he's out of he's got one action left so we're gonna move right here onto the walkway stop there and now hopefully he does not ah oh, of course the freaking card was the walkway card right on top of me wonderful uh, he can add die actually he can't he can't try to crack save but he can add die that would be actually really good to help him here yeah let's do that and then move move him on the stairs and should he move up yeah, he can move up. One, two, three, four. No, I can't really. He can't stay on that. He definitely moved the atrium to try to hide out. Oh no, my my freaking acrobat took a hit because he came on the the, the atrium. So not only did the hacker take a hit, the, the the hacker and the and the acrobat both took a hit because you can see through up through the atrium. God dang it! Ugh. All right, let's add two dice here. Help him out. And then let's move on to the stairs and just stay there. Okay, he'll get activated. One, two, three. He's probably going to move right back on that spot, which is going to block off the hacker. But I can't really do anything about that because if I stay on this floor, he's going to go one, two, three, and still four. If I don't move, if I move off this floor, then he's going to stay right there, which is in a hacker's way. So either way, I got to move. I just got to. Mm. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. Yeah, it's gonna take him two actions no matter what for the hacker to get by him. Okay. Just gonna stay right here where I'm at. Yep, right in the way. Alright, acrobat, let's uh let's do some movement here. Let's do uh move. Yeah, you know, this die roll thing, I can try to take care of that. It's gonna take a. Hmm, I got three actions, just in case there's something. Oh yeah, the hawk's gonna need to move on here so she can peek over here. So yeah, let's try to roll onto that. Let's see what happens. Beautiful, first roll. And I just get two actions left. I think what I want to use those two actions for is just move back to the atrium to hide out because this guy already hit the walkway down here, so this is a safe spot now. I know. So yeah, so let's go back over here and we'll move on to this spot here. Uh, he's got four actions, but he's not going to hit me because he's going to be stuck over there. Oh. I thought it was safe. It's safe in the guard below, but it's not safe in the guard on this level. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she's just going to move over here and then move up. Yep, she's going to go up. So now this guy's going to move and hopefully get out of the way so the hacker can get over here and do his thing. Yep, sweet. Now the hacker can get by him. And the hacker's gonna move up. Sets off an alarm, which is fine. Move up, move up. Goes back down. And he's out of actions, but he needs to be on the safe anyway, so we're gonna stay right here. Just don't draw a card over here. We're good. Just moving back up. Sweet. Back there, and whew, he burned through a lot of cards that round. Oof, that's not good. But the spotter can move up. No, he can't. He moved right onto a guard. Jeez. Yep. Spotter cannot move up. So he's going to move over here. And he's going to add a die to help out the hacker. And should he move back onto the stairs or should he try to roll here? I think I'll move him back to the stairs because it, that's the best place for him to hide out and get away from the guard. So we're going to move back to the stairs. Ending turn here. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So let's go back here. All right, guys, so that is Burgle Brothers. Uh, I want to stop here because we're at, I think, 30 minutes on this video. Something like that. Yeah, we're 30 minutes. Okay, great. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to stop here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to win or not. I've got some tight spots here. It looks pretty bad, but we'll see. Uh, I'll finish playing it out. I'll put in the chat in the comments whether I won or, won or lost. But uh, we'll, we're going to stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys see how to play Burger Brothers and understand the game. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. This is on Steam, like I said, and on iOS and Android. It's a great game. If you don't have you know, some friends around to play with, this is an app you can pull up. I play it on the my tablet all the time. I love it. Uh, it's a good little a game to kill some time. Uh, it takes quite a while to play a game. Probably about an hour or so to play one game. Uh, especially if you're well, I'm talking out loud, telling you all my strategies and what I'm thinking, so it takes longer. 
Um, if I'm not doing that, then the game goes a lot faster. But there you go, guys. So that is Burger Brothers. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give us a like, subscribe, comment, and uh, you know, click on one of the links of the other videos that I'm going to put up on the screen uh, so that you can check out other videos. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.